Hello everyone, Vito's A32 back again. We're doing another review for you today. Something a little bit different. Uh, it is the Grimaud decks. A Grimaud Origin, apparently. Origin decks. Uh, which is apparently owned by Card Armunde. Because why not? Apparently they own everything in playing cards. So that is. That, let's check it out. Alright, everyone, so I decided to do a review like this on the Grimauds just to get it done. Because my camera is, is dead and out of memory space, so we'll just do it like this very quickly. It says Grimaud Zuda Sequente Quat Cards. No, oh, how do you say it? But whatever, 54 cards. February on France. And it says Maitre, uh, Maitre Cards. Uh, Depuis 1884, basically. Master Cards A. Since 1884. Maitre. Maitre Cartier. And Cards to Zoe on one side with the Grimaud logo. As it turns out, Grimaud is now owned by Carta <laughs> Um It says Cards to Zoe on one side with the logo. You see the King, the, the Ray, and the other side, same thing. Top, Cards to Zoe with the logo. The bottom, same thing. And in the back, it shows you some of the faces and the backs. There's a barcode. It says it's made in France. Uh, it says Grimaud. Again, Nature, Cartier, the pre 1848, or maybe it's making cards since 1848. I'm not sure. I guess. It is Baptiste Paul Grimaud, uh, Nature, Cartier, yes, my master cardist, <laughs> master card maker on the flap. Very interesting small flap. When I got these, I got these from eBay. I was not expecting them to be good size or tiny. I was Expect them to be poker sized. They're not, but that's okay. It's a it's a nice back design. Kind of why I've got it. So you get a little ad card. Information. And then some more information on Francais on the other side. Oh, we. <laughs> and um the jokers, they say joker on top in mod the bottom with a kind of a poker tip in the four corners or a dartboard, whatever prefer. And there's a bat design. It's a nice simple bat design in blue and red. This one's blue, the other one's red. It's a floral thing in the center. Very simple. It's a nice little line work. And then here it's okay. It's the same but red. Here's this page. It says Good Mod. Uh, made in France. It's got four indexes as you can see and it's got the logo of the lower quick inside the pip. It's actually the guy painting the portrait of the king, I assume. The other aces have nice big center pips. And the court cards are very nice. Beautiful court cards. I like the style of French court cards. Of course, the kings have an R for A, which I can't really pronounce very well. And it says this one is Caesar. It tells you who it is. The queens have a D for Dame. And this one is Calas. These are what the traditional USB-C court cards, traditional plain card court cards are based on. And the decks have a V, uh, which I cannot recall what they stand for. Somebody's going to tell me what it is in the comments. And sir, actually I can try to Google it. I know what it is, I just can't recall what it is. It is... And I guess technically the, the club goes from those Clovers, the Trufflers, the Caro, for the Diamonds, Carreurs, for the Hearts, and Peaks, or Pikes, for these Spades. Um, the... Oh, the Valet is what the Jack is. That's what it is. This one is... Right here, here we got King David, Hector, or Jean, Charles, and this is Hogier, Hosier, trying to see if I can get this nice and clear, this is Judith, 
Uh, Alexandra. Rachel. And Lancelot. If you've seen my videos, I show you two deck, don't ask. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't got one. Uh, and I'm not planning to produce any more. They're not the greatest deck in the world, but they were designed by A.D. Soriano. The back design was okay. And the, the faces, they're based on these. They're basically that. And I really like those. So I'm a fan of those. And number cards, fairly straightforward. Nice pips that they use and four indexes. And that is that. I'll show you the other one. Quickly, the red one. I mean, I just, I really like that back design when I just saw it. And I'm like, yeah, I'd like to get that. I, I was hoping it was poker size. I thought it was going to be poker size. It doesn't handle the, the greatest. It, it's an okay stock and finish. It's actually not, you can see it bends easy. Which, I mean, I guess playing cards generally bend easy. But what I'm trying to say is it's not very, it, it doesn't bounce back very much. <laughs> Maybe this way. It's not, you know. It doesn't, it's not very bendy. <laughs> uh, it, it's fine, it handles fine. Um, Suffer is fine and everything. It's, you know, for it's playing cards and whatever, it's fine. But if you're looking for something that's better for cards of magic or just for magic or cardistry, this is not going to be it. They don't really fan too well. It's a smooth plastic coated. Uh, stock and finish that they have. Very smooth. So, I mean, they're fine for playing cards and stuff like that. That's about all I would recommend them for. Or just collecting. I have a couple other Grimma decks as well. You can see with these on. That are poker size. I was hoping these ones would be based on the pictures, but it is what it is. It's a pretty nice back design. And it's nice to have a little more standard Grimma deck in my collection. So that is that. Comment, <laughs> subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, because they're basically standard, they're just standard with mod decks. I don't know if I'm going to rate them. But, I mean, it is what it is. Blue one seems to handle it better than the red one for some reason. Anyways, that is that. I'm not going to rate them, but let me know what you think. Comment and subscribe. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.